Is the customer always right? Henry Selfridge in the early 1900s said, the customer is always right. This changed the way that stores looked at customers. The businesses came became more customer focused. This idea spread around the world. The customer is never wrong was the slogan of Swiss businessman Caesar Ritz, founder of Ritz Carlton Hotels. He said if a diner complains about a dish or the wine, immediately remove it and replace it. No questions asked. In Spanish and Italian, both phrases translate to the customer always has a reason. It's up to the employees and customer service agents to find that reason and make sure customers are treated well. In Germany, the phrase is the customer is king. Germany recently updated its consumer protection laws to provide more options and support for customers. The Japanese have the motto meaning the customer is a god. The reason for all of these is to help us remember that the customer needs to be treated fairly and with respect. So what do you do when our client wants to do something that is not in the best interest for their business and as a PR firm, our business as well? The customer might not always be right. However, being thoughtful in your approach to the customer experience will always serve our company well. There are three main steps that are suggested in dealing with these situations. First, listen patiently. Let the customer talk themselves out. By listening, you can build trust, empathy, and rapport, and it calms down the client. Second, show empathy. You can demonstrate empathy through eye contact, body language, and smaller verbal cues showing encouragement and concern. By being empathetic and attuned, you make it clear that you understand the client's concerns. Third, show true integrity in your choices and guide the client in their choices. Explain to the client what their choices would do for not only their company, but ours as well. I learned this lesson when I was a child. I was playing at a house with a large group of children. They started going down the stairs using pillows and cardboards for sled. I knew that we were not supposed to be doing that, so I said that I wasn't going to and over and played with some toys instead. Before long, the parents had heard the rackets and come down to investigate. They asked who had been sliding down the stairs. Many of the children with cardboard in hand said they didn't. Then they asked me and I told them I didn't as well. The parents told us all that we were lying and would get into bigger trouble because of it. Then something happened that surprised me. Several of the other kids stepped up and told the parents that they were wrong and that I wouldn't lie. The parents looked at me and said, okay, you can go outside. I found freedom in that moment. This also translate to, uh, translates to the business world. History has shown that taking the higher road pays off in the end. A Forbes magazine in July of 2017 reported, over the past decade, the mo most ethical and just American companies have also proven themselves to be the most profitable. They lead their industries over the long term. Dr. Holly Branson, Branson of Virgin said, doing the right thing isn't just well right, it also has a measurable effect for the company. When people watch a company improving the world, they trust it and respect it more. Businesses need to be doing all they can, not the least they can get away with. If we want to truly do well in business, we need to respect ourselves as well as our clients by doing the right thing for us all, helping each other reach new heights.